now the story of John Holliver, a passionate collector Chronicle has chronicled in the past, as here among his fleet of pedal cars. The way that they were made in the 30s and 40s were truly art. Then there was his array of grandfather clocks. Today's collections include baseball bats, pocket watches, antique trophies, musical instruments. I collect ice cream scoops. I used to work at Friendly's. I saw this wonderful collection of three. And I can't just have three. I have to have 300. I don't have 300, thank goodness. I probably have 75 or 80. What all these collectibles share, Holliver says, are craftsmanship and stories. Before I buy it, I want to know about it. I do all of that research with the idea of knowing what I now own. You could say John Holliver is a one-man antiques roadshow. <laughs> One could say. I think it started with my father. I really believe that it's in our genes and our family. But has the clock run out? I have three millennials, um, three wonderful children, and um, it was my hope and my intent to take all the treasures and pass them on to them. And they are standing at the door saying, Daddy, no. <laughs> we don't want that beautiful cherry break front furniture. We don't want a grandfather clock. I think they're more practical than some of the baby boomers, myself included. Treasures reduced to stuff. What is a downsizing baby boomer to do? I believe that the greatest majority of my collection I'm going to give away. But I'll be very choosy in who I give it to. For example, this guitar Holliver gave Colorado-based singer-songwriter Chris Collins after seeing him perform locally. Out of his trunk, he pulled out this old Gibson 1948 F-hole jazz guitar. And he said, I can't accept this. And, he, and I said, well, you have to because it's doing no good just sitting on the wall. It has personality. It's got more songs to sing. Well, I picked it up and I, I played it and immediately fell in love with it. And every time he plays in a live concert, he tells a story about his old guitar. Part of the inspiration for the gift is that Collins looks and sounds like John Denver. And Denver got his start on a Gibson he had been gifted. John says he has given away all of his pedal cars except his first one. John and his wife recently moved into a smaller home and he says while he misses his stuff, he finds the simpler life liberating. Before we go tonight, a reminder, WCVB along with our Hearst sister stations throughout New England are joining with our local Red Cross to help raise money for those seriously affected by Hurricane Ida from Louisiana up to the East Coast. You can give in several ways. Scan that QR code that you see on the screen. You can also log on to WCVB.com slash Ida or you can call with your donation. The number is 1-855-456-GIVE. We have surpassed our goal of $100,000 Right now we are at $107,000 and we are still going. 100% of the money raised goes toward Red Cross efforts to help hurricane item victims. That is Chronicles for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour.